Just bought yourself a Flash Pro? Here are a couple steps to get you going and get your car tuned. I get a lot of questions about the Flash Pro unit and how do I get it set up? How do I get my first tune on there? And most importantly, I bought one used. How do I tell if it's locked or not? In this video series, we're going to go through the different aspects of owning a Flash Pro, buying one secondhand, what you need to know, so you're in the know. So, things you're gonna need. You're gonna need your Flash Pro. Flash Pro has the OBD2 cable attached to it. You're gonna need a USB cable. That comes with the Flash Pro as well. Uh, if you don't have one, a simple printer cable will do. That's the same type of cable that uh, is utilized on a printer. So if you don't have one, go rob one from your printer. And you're gonna need a laptop. Most importantly, you're gonna need the Flash Pro software off Hondata's website. Alrighty, so you went ahead and you downloaded the Hondata Flash Pro Manager. That's gonna be this icon right here. Now that you've downloaded the Flash Pro Manager, go ahead and open it. When you open it, you're gonna go ahead and see a blank screen. A little bit daunting for most. This step right here is key. Before you even attempt to hook this up to your vehicle, by hooking it up to the OBD2 connector underneath the dash, make sure to hook up the USB port on the Flash Pro unit and hook it up to the USB port on your laptop before you hook it up to the vehicle. Chances are there's gonna be a software update that needs to be applied to the Flash Pro unit because Honda is constantly updating their software, adding new features, adding new vehicles. So it's a constant update. So before you connect to a vehicle, even if you've tuned the vehicle before and now you're going to make amendments to the car, chances are there's gonna be an update. At that point, same thing. Do not hook it up to the vehicle first. First, hook it up to your Flash Pro unit and then go ahead and hook it up to your laptop. We go ahead and hook up to the laptop and then you're gonna be greeted by this information screen. Flash Pro firmware will be upgraded. It'll tell you here as well, please unplug Flash Pro from the vehicle. This will pose problems if you have it hooked up to the vehicle. Believe me, I know. So go ahead and hit OK. And it'll simply update the Flash Pro firmware. If you purchase the Flash Pro used, and there's a calibration stored on the Flash Pro, it's gonna ask you to go ahead and update that file that's in there to the newest version of firmware. You can go ahead and say yes, it'll download it, you can go ahead and save it. Most of the stuff it'll do automatically. For your new users, people that have just bought one brand new, it will not ask you to do that, okay? That concludes this tutorial. If you want to see anything else pertaining to the Han Data Flash Pro, things you don't understand, not so much getting into tuning, this isn't a tuning tutorial, this is utilizing your Flash Pro, uh, things you're just confused about to go ahead to get you up and running prior to your tune day, drop it in the comments, let me know. I'll be happy to make a video, go over certain things with you, now that I have a screenshot function that I can record the screen, show you guys data real time. If you have questions on this video, things that were not clear to you, put it in the comments. I'll go ahead and get back to you, clarify. If it requires another video, we'll do that too. Hope you found it informative. Thank you.